This process goes pretty fast, so I'll go through it twice. Here you see the chromosomes being copied and paired. Crossing over would occur here. Those are called tetrads, where the genetic material is actually mixed together. You can see the blue and the red. Then there's two divisions, uh, two complete uh, meiotic divisions. And the result is four non-identical haploid or half cells. So we'll go through it one more time so you can get a better view. There's four chromosomes at the beginning. These chromosomes are copied, but they're also paired together as what are called homologous pairs. Crossing over occurs during this tetrad phase. And then pairs split. And when the pairs split, the crossing over results in the mixing of the genetic material from chromosome to chromosome. Then finally, the sister chromatids split apart, forming four non-identical haploid daughter cells, meiosis is the process of cell division that results in four non-identical half-baby cells, also known as haploid gametes. So this occurs in the ovaries or testes, producing sperm or pollen um, and eggs. And once again, that's crossing over. You can see the exchange of those two arms of the uh, chromosomes. They would actually cross over a lot more than that and mix the genetic material more than that, but this is just to give you an idea. So the original cell had four chromosomes, and the final cell has half, which is two chromosomes. Sperm and egg can join, and when sperm and egg join together, you get back to the initial uh, four chromosomes. If this was a human, it would be a lot harder to show because right here we would see 46 chromosomes instead of just four. Uh, but essentially it's the same exact process. We have pair split and then we have sister split. So um, copying, pairing up, crossing over, pair split, and then sister split and ending up with four non-identical haploid cells.